All right, let's go through this and, uh, well, review with the answers and why they are what they are. Indicate the number of significant figures for each of the following. One, two, three, four digits. That's four significant figures. This is three significant figures because that period means all the zeros are significant. Or rather, that decimal point means all the zeros are significant. So three sig figs. One, two, three, four, five significant figures. One, two, three significant figures. This does not count as part of the sig figs. One, two, three, four significant figures. Again, scientific notation doesn't count as part of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant figures. Zero significant, what's in between non-zero numbers. Okay, here, this is one significant figure because without any decimal point explicitly written, we assume that these are not significant, these trailing zeros are not significant. This is one, two, three, four, five sig figs right here. Yes, I refer to them as sig figs for short. One, two, three, four, five significant figures, not six, because the zero at the beginning is a leading zero, and leading zeros are not significant. Next, this leading zero is also not significant, and neither is these two leading zeros. So with these decimals smaller than one, these leading zeros don't count as being significant. Uh, so that's just one, two, three sig figs. Here, it's two sig figs, because trailing zeros are significant when there's a decimal. So when there's a decimal point, these zeros at the end count. So that's two significant figures because the six is one of them and the zero is the other one. This is five significant figures because trailing zeros count when a decimal is explicitly written. And here it's one, two, three, four significant figures because it's the three, the four, and these two zeros. Trailing zeros count, leading zeros don't, and the times 10 to the negative six doesn't count as a significant figure. Round off each of the following to three significant figures. Okay. One, two, seven is the third significant figure. The seven is next to a three, so you round down. 18.7. Three significant figures. Are, okay, one, two, three. This first number six is the third significant figure. So one, five, and because that six is next to another six, it rounds up to a seven, which means you have zero, 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 four zeros falling. How do I know that? Because it's got to keep the same value. So you'll notice... One, this is 1,566,000, rounds to 1,570,000. So these numbers have to keep the same value. 1 million, 1 million, 500,000, 500,000. So they got to keep the same value, which means if this is 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces over, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces over. You just have the right number of zeros to give these digits the same value. Next, three sig figs. One, two, three significant figures. So uh, 0 0.011, so not a sig fig, not a sig fig. So this one is the first significant figure. This another one is the second significant figure. This six is the third significant figure. Since it's next to a seven, you round up to this. And to be fair, we did tell people to use scientific notation for larger small numbers. So actually, I should go back and change this one to scientific notation. I'll put both there because technically... It should be scientific notation, but for this early stage, we'd understand it if people put either one. Um, 1.57 times 10 to the sixth power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is 1.17 times 10 to the 1, 2, negative second power. Round of three significant figures. All right. This seven, and this is number first one. The second one, the third one is this number five. So this five is next to a nine, so it goes up. 0 0.00776, a.k.a. 7.76 times 10 to the negative third power. This is 0 0.0023. Oops, is it three? Look at this nine, it's next to a five, so it's got to go up to become a zero. And if this 9 goes up, it pushes this digit to go up too, so it's actually a 4. 0 0.00240. It's almost like a 39 rounded up to a 40, you could almost say. And that would give 1, 2, 3 significant figures. Yes, this zero trailing 0 is significant. That is also writable as 2.40 times 10 to the negative third, because it's 1, 2, 3 spaces over. All right, this, 84,000... 500, okay, well that 5 is the third sig fig, it's next to a 9, so it's got to round up, 
So 600. So 84,592 is 84,600. AKA 8.46 times 10 to the uh, fifth, sorry, fourth power. One, two, three, four. All right, next up, this times 10 to the negative third. All right, well, we don't need to change it to a regular decimal. We can just leave it as scientific notation. But rounding to three significant figures would make it 2.77 times 10 to the negative third. Why is it 2.77? Because the third sig fig is the six right here. It's next to a five, so you got to round up to a seven. Next, this. So one, two, three sig figs. That six is the third sig fig. It's next to an eight, so it rounds up. 8.47 times 10 to the sixth. Next, this one, three sig figs, one, two, three. This nine is the third significant figure. So it rounds to 2.10 times 10 to the fourth. Why? It's because this nine goes up to become a 10, which means this is a zero and this becomes a one. Or rather, when this goes up, then it forces this one up too. All right, okay, so there's a type one here. I changed it, you should have the same thing on your version. Um, 2.76, the 6 is next to 4, so it doesn't round up, so it just becomes 2.76 times 10 to the negative third power. All right, onward, round off each of the following numbers to the indicated number of significant digits, and write the number in standard scientific notation. Okay, so let's do that to two digits and write it using scientific notation. Now, first of all, let's convert it to scientific notation. It's going to be 3 point and just two digits okay so that means we're going to round here at this four the four is next to a five so it's got to round up so 3.5 times 10 to the one two three four got to move the decimal four times so that's minus four power and it's a minus power because it's such a small number positive power would be for larger numbers all right here it's already in scientific notation for us Four digits, okay, one, two, three, four. This last number three here is the fourth significant digit. The S to zero counts because it's between two non-zero numbers. So 1.033 times 10 to the fourth. Yes, when rounding, don't forget, you gotta keep that times 10 to whatever power there. All right, onward, five digits. One, two, three, four, five. That's 17 point, oops, actually I need to write that up to the side, 17 point nine nine or two sorry the one gets rounded up because it's next to a five but as scientific notation that's one point seven nine nine two times ten to what power well you gotta move it once and it's a big number so it's a positive exponent ten to the positive first and then finally we can do this one three point six three six five times ten to the negative fifth Let's do that one, two, five. So we're going to do three digits. One, two, three. Right here. It's next to five, so it rounds up. 3.37 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right, that's how we go about doing it.